welcome back to the channel welcome back to gaming news weekly and um this week haven't been been too too thick on gaming news the sony showcase happened all of that is going around we already talked about all that but there's still some confusion around the sony stuff but let's get right back into it let's start with the microsoft side because there was haven't been much xbox news so we can just get that out of the way now microsoft bought clip champ which is a uh, like a like a editing software company and there's been speculation that hmm that might be the new xbox dvr system because we all know the xbox one dvr when it translated to xbox series x and s it was broken <laughs> that bitch does not work 90 percent of the time and they haven't changed it and they've been talking about they're changing it and this clip champ thing deal might just be the change that xbox is in dire need of changing because the drm i mean not the drm the dvr is uh is definitely uh lackluster especially with the share button and all that on the controller now how easy it is to capture and you haven't fucking updated the dvr yet but yeah they they bought a company hopefully that hopefully that's a new a new light on some change for the for the capture system of the xbox and i guess the 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 pc version i forget what it's called when you uh when you do the thing i forget in other news redfall y'all know redfall the bethesda game about vampires and killing vampires got some powers in it had us a good little cgi trailer um, a couple months back, that game leaked. Somebody broke NDA heavy and just released a whole lot of shit they wasn't supposed to onto the internet. And fanboys are going crazy. They saw like some some auto some auto whack textures and some renders that wasn't completely done. Like yeah, this game is is like a year or so away. Like of course it's not going to be fucking dumb when you see it. And fanboys are fighting to hell over there all about this red fall stuff and people were bringing up what happened when uh horizon zero dawn they pre-alpha stuff leaked and aloy in the world looked like fucking lego blocks and <laughs> they showed the god of war stuff like y'all got god of war but y'all remember what the fucking pre-alpha god of war looked like and they show him with kratos with a ghost axe and and no trees around oh man it's going crazy the Twitterverse has been going crazy about that, but I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. They leaked the Redfall stuff. I mean, Redfall is going to be probably a good game. They leaked some gameplay aspects of the game, too. I'm not going to really spread that stuff around because there's no need to. Like, when stuff like that happens, it's like, you got to be real disrespectful to be trusted with some stuff like that and just blow it on the internet. Because I've signed plenty of NDAs to, to play things people don't know about, and I'm not about to just ruin my own reputation just to put that shit come on down bro you gotta be a real dumbass to just disrespect yourself your integrity just to let the internet know some shit they shouldn't know like come on now but that's what leakers and shit do that's what they do that's how they get they get they hype off or i don't know what the fuck you gain from that I, you gain nothing like i don't understand but they did and that's really it for the xbox news other than Far Cry 6, they was announcing that they given free upgrades right after Sony said no more free upgrades for cross-gen games. Zero. They give me Yahoo Horizon and they said we're done. No more cross-gen games for free. Yeah, I'm paying for upgrades. And then Far Cry 6 was like, well, our upgrade is free. <laughs> if you want Far Cry 6, you get a free upgrade to the next gen console. And then yeah, that was like, I don't know, throwing shade at Sony part. But Sony did what they did and they fans love that shit. So they got they're not gonna stop now and that's leads into this Sony stuff Because Sony just had their showcase we all know they dropped a whole lot of Some trailers they dropped they dropped some games, you know remaster show from last year all the same games a little bit more of those three new things in the showcase which was spider-man no release date uh, Wolverine no release date KOTOR no release date. KOTOR remake. Everybody's going off about that. They're like, oh, Sony got KOTOR. Sony doesn't have KOTOR, bro. Like, they might have said that in their trailer just to mislead y'all, but KOTOR is going to PC and PlayStation 5 at the same time. 
and it's timed for Xbox. I don't know why people think KOTOR is exclusive to PlayStation now. Like, <laughs> like when did they never said that? Sony never said that themselves. Their fans is running wild with this claim that Sony just bought KOTOR. Like, the original KOTOR is an Xbox game. And it's always going to be an Xbox game. Yeah, they got the fucking remake of the game. Time to them, just like they did Final Fantasy VII. It's still time to them. When the time exclusivity is over, it's going to go to other platforms. So, yeah, Sony has timed exclusivity for console, but it's going to PC day and date. We just need to stop falsifying that. And with the Sony, with Sony and Jim Ryan saying that $10 upgrades were all cross-gen games after Horizon, got me thinking that Spider-Man is going to be cross-gen. Like Spider-Man 2, I don't think that's going exclusive to PlayStation 5. I don't think it is just like God of War and Horizon and Gran Turismo. I don't think Spider-Man 2 would be exclusive to PlayStation 5 because they wouldn't announce $10 upgrades for more cross-gen titles from Sony if they wasn't making more of them. They haven't announced more of them yet, but they wouldn't announce $10 upgrades if it was only three more cross-gen games. That's just how my mind works. Like I'm thinking like that, like if it was only three more of them, y'all could have gave out three cross-gen games for free horizon gran turismo god of war because those games got forced into the into the future because y'all delayed them those should have just been free three more of them would have been free that would have been fine but sony's like every cross-gen game after horizon we pay in ten dollar upgrades and i'm like there has to be more than just the three then like it has to be more but it could be just me you know, thinking bigger. Sony might just be like, oh, we just don't want to give three more games out for free. But <laughs> who knows? Who knows? That's Sony over there. They're doing their thing. In other news, there was rumors going around. Some of the dumbest rumors I ever heard. Y'all probably heard them too. But I'm going to talk about it right now. The PlayStation 5 Pro. Who the fuck came up with that shit? Like, everybody know the PlayStation 5 came out underpowered versus the Xbox Series X, even though they're performing well. The PlayStation 5 is performing well. They got a revision. It's performing well. Xbox Series X and S are performing well. They're doing their things. No real games are pushing the boundaries of gaming. Like they keep saying it is. Like, no, these games are all capable of running on old gen. They're just, you know, got a couple more frames in it and a, and a couple more textures. And they're like, oh, this is next gen. Like nothing is next gen yet. I'm not calling not a damn game that came out next gen just because it loads a little faster or the textures are a little bit higher. Come on now, bro. That's, that's, that's not what next gen is. Next gen is when the game is fucking different, bro. But as long as it's the same, that's not next gen. But yeah, the rumors came out. PlayStation 5 Pro in two years. You can't even get a PlayStation 5 in two years. Better yet, a PlayStation 5 Pro being built in two years. That's some of the dumbest shit I ever heard. And people were running with this rumor heavy. They're like, PlayStation 5 Pro is coming. There's people happy about it. They're like, damn, that shit about to be lit. It's about to have 8K gaming. And I'm like, who the fuck is gaming at 8K? Who the fuck is wanting a game at 8K? You can't even afford an 8K monitor, TV. Br people barely afford 4K. Like, <laughs> people are really hyping up this PlayStation 5 Pro, and the other people were so pissed because, like, they can't even make PlayStation 5s. How are they going to make a PlayStation 5 Pro already? Which is logical. Like, but, I mean, there's a logical reason to think that. You can't even make a PlayStation 5 right now. How the fuck are you going to make a PlayStation 5 Pro? But, yeah, that was another fucking rumor going around. A dumbass rumor. That's all I thought it was. When I heard it, I'm like, this is fucking stupid, bro. That was some of the dumbest shit I ever seen. But yeah, that's it for Gaming News Weekly this week. Because like everything else is, I mean, we already really talked about it. There's nothing real big news going out right now. Except everybody hyping up Wolverine's hand. And <laughs> everybody's hyping up Wolverine's hand right now. And uh, talking about Elder Scrolls 5 being exclusive to Xbox is a bad thing. And other than that, gaming news has been real fucking dry this week. So thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.